Hello, this is Julie. I had a question to show how I get my files from SVG Cuts into Design Space by using Make the Cut. So the first thing that I do is go to SVG Cuts and save the file. This particular one that was free this last week is Mistletoe Manor, so I saved it. And when I downloaded it, it came in a zip file. To unzip it, I double click, then I click on that on that file and select extract all files to unzip it. It needs to be unzipped first to use it and make the cut. Then I click on extract and that gives me the usable file here. This is the card that's in this collection. If I double click on the SVG file you see it's the Damask card here. So that's what we're going to do. So I open a new project in Make the Cut. I click on the SVG icon on the top toolbar and I go to that folder that was inside the download. Double click on the Damask card. I'm going to hold the shift, click on the first file and click on the last and it will select them all. And you can see the preview of all the shapes that I've selected, three, six, seven, eight different shapes all at once. And I click on open and they all appear on my screen at their original sizes. And they're also selected. Then I see at the top the sizes of the selected shapes, which are 39.6 inches wide and 11.4 inches high. I write down these measurements because I'm going to need them when I'm in design space. So right now I'm going to go to File, Export, Selection to SVG File, and I'm going to save this file as a Damask Card. Click on Save, and it's been exported now. So now I'm going to go into Design Space and make sure that I'm signed in. Click on Upload Image, Vector Upload, and Browse. I'm going to browse to that folder to find Damask Card SVG and click on Open. Now I have all the shapes here. Looks good. I'll click on Save Image and it'll give this file the name that I just used. I'm going to click on the green triangle here with a check mark and click on insert images. So now I have all of my shapes coming in as you notice very tiny on the screen. It's all selected so what I got to do is go up to the edit menu, click on edit and this will give me the option to resize everything. I'll change the width to the same as it was in Make the Cut, 39.6 and enter. And the height isn't quite the same, so I'm going to click on that lock icon and I'm going to change it to 11.4 so the measurements are precise and press enter. Now I have all my pieces in Cricut Design Space at the exact right size. I do need to attach all of the score lines, so I'm going to right click and ungroup. Now I'm going to click on the score line, hold the shift key and click the card that the line goes on, then right click and attach. Again, I'm going to left click on the score line, hold the, sh the shift key, click on the card it goes to, right click on my mouse and attach. And let's see if there's any other shape that has any score lines. Now I think that's it. So now we're ready to click on Go. Once we click on Go, our pieces are being sorted by color. And we end up with 10 different mats, each color on its own mat. Oh, there's eight mats. Gray, light green. So we have, we're ready to cut now. We have, um, we can cut one mat at a time. 
And when we're finished cutting all eight mats, then we can go back to our main screen. And now that we have everything resized, we can go to um, save this file and it will save it. We'll save it as Damask Card. And the reason I would save it again is because this time I'm saving the corrected size. So I'll click on Save and that's all there is to it. We have a project quickly resized. If I did not use Make the Cut, I would have to bring each shape in one at a time. So I'd have each eight different uh, file pieces that I would have to bring in one at a time and resize each one one at a time. So I'm very grateful to be able to do this all and make the cut. So it doesn't matter if this screen's a hodgepodge of pieces because uh, Design Space sorts them all to the mats. So I hope this was helpful and answered the questions that were posted. Thanks for watching. Bye.